In this video, we will be printing this pattern in four or more ways from basic to advanced by minimizing the number of lines and increasing the efficiency of the program. So fire up your favorite IDE and let's call it a method one. Now here you can see that we are printing the integers from one to five in each row and the row is repeated five times. The same elements are repeated five times, okay? So we will be using two loops, one for the row and one for the column. For i in range, one to six, that is one less than six, that is one to five. And then we will be using one more loop for the columns. The first loop will be used for the rows and the second inner loop will be used for printing the elements in each column. Okay, so now we are going to just use a print statement here and in the print statement we will be writing j because j is starting from 1 to 1 less than 6 that is 5 and we have to print from 1 to 5 so j is only the way we can print this pattern comma and equals in single quotes type a space so that you have a space between each column okay press a carriage return backspace and type a print statement here as this end will be making all the elements which are printed separated by space only and we won't be getting this pattern here let me show you you can see and if we use the print statement here here we have the required pattern moving forward in the method 2 we are going to reduce these two loops by one single loop and some of the data types. So we will be using a list or a tuple here. You can use whatever you like. Let's use a tuple. And we are going to take the elements in the tuple as 1 to 5. Now we will be using a variable for the number of rows. So it will start from 1 and will go to 5. In the while loop, I will be less than 6. And now in here we will be using a print statement to print all the elements of this tuple. Let's name it T so that you understand that T is for tuple, okay? And in the print statement type star T. What this star T means, it will print all the elements in the tuple, okay? And which are separated by space so that we have a space between each of the columns, okay? Now increment the value of i by 1 and just execute the program and we have the required pattern. You can see here. Now what if we don't want to use this tuple here? We can still reduce the code by one more line. Okay. By removing this, let me show you. Let's call it method 3 and instead of using this here we will be using the range star range the range will go from 1 to 6 that is 1 less than 6 the range will go from 1 to 5 the loop is gonna execute 5 times 1 for each row so we will be having 5 rows in the output and what this star range will do is it will remember I told you star here it will print all the elements in the tuple so the star will do same here it will print the range of elements from 1 to 1 less than 6 that is 1 to 5 and let's execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern so now we have reduced the code from two loops to one loop and four lines and at last we will be making it into just two lines by using a for loop for i in range 1 to 6 or let's say just 5. What this means, range in parenthesis 5, I will be starting from 0 and will go to 1 less than 5, that is 4. So actually we have 5 values of i from 0 to 4, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we will be having 5 rows, okay. As we are not going to use i here for printing the elements in the column. So that's why we have just used 5 here to decrease the 
number of columns of the code and in here we will be using the print statement in the same range 1 to 6 and just execute the program and here you can see that we have the required pattern with just two lines of code so we have finally achieved the same pattern which was printed in four lines with just two lines greater efficiency and less execution time please subscribe to support pipro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more